Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Sultan Sanctuary. We took out the Bloodless Prince, and now we're going to move past where he was. Past where the Scarecrow was, and now no longer is. He always shows up in a pile of bodies. It's creepy. Welcome to the Ruined Temple. Oh, good. Gross. Oh, what the hell? Oh, you gotta kill me. Like, give me a damn break. I wasn't supposed to be knocked all the way over here. Uh, stone clear, thanks. Man, who activated that trap? Super not cool, but an amber idol? An enemy dropped that? That's pretty amazing. Anyway, this is where I was, thank you very much. Thank god I can one-shot these guys, because they are very irritating to fight under normal circumstances. So what happens? There it was. The spider ran over here and activated the trap. That's freaking absurd. Alright. Then there's this guy. Who just wrecks me, I guess. I, I can't get over that he rips off his own arm and throws it at me. It's crazy. Isn't that right, sir? At least I'm getting a little bit better at handling these annoying things. That's clever. That's a door. Now, where does this lead to? Got him. The guide is set. Yeah, thinks a trap. Cute. Fashion fashionable hat of an adventuring guide. Versatile cloak and tunic. Leather gloves. Smart leather boots. Nifty. Got it. This is, of course, a shortcut back to a previous area, so... Now let's go all the way back to where I got knocked to. That was embarrassing. But we can recover. No more enemies to bother me. No more trap to worry about triggering because it's already been triggered. Not even anything over here. This is where we got the stone cleric. Boom. Easy. Took out those annoying split swordsmen over here. I hate those things. Oh, hello. Uh, Soldier's Poem. And there's a lever below me. Hang on. Just a regular strike. How fortunate. I've been so tired of fighting those guys. One thing. Anyway. This is actually better for faster movement in general. Now what? Okay. Lightning pod. 
and a bag of salt. A friendly spirit of sky that follows its caster, periodically casting lightning bolts at its caster's foes. Should be an apostrophe with the caster. Whether these spirits of sky are otherworldly entities that have always existed in the ethereal fabric, or mages long past... Yeah, that can make sense. Eager to aid a good sorcerer is debated. Alright. Where are we? Oh. Oh, he didn't die. Yeah, let's make sure we take these guys out, huh? Yeah, no shenanigans, thank you. This actually is pretty great. Was that a drawbridge? Cool. Oh, that's actually scary. Of course, thanks. Let's just go for the quick strike. Oh, I can just one-shot him anyway. Oh, no, I can't. Alright, whatever, we're good. What were you guarding? Another Amber Idol. That's kind of cool. More Soldier's Poems. Alright. Moving on. And we're back. A shroud ring. A plain metal ring wrapped in a stained page. The two are magically intertwined, bound by strings of hateful lies. Increases your defense to holy damage. And this actually takes us back to the Red Hall of Cages. Anyway, let's go back. All the way back. Ah, still took the fall. It looks like if you dart just as you are about to hit the ground, it does not save you. <laughs> Alright, here we are. So we have the two gates here, except that I opened one of them. I hate when they tank. Oh, hello. Oh, did not expect that. Yes, I'm healing again. I can't get my full health back because I've been wounded so many times. It's a freaking nuisance, but alright. There. Oh, hello. What? Didn't know there was a thing that could happen. Mm -hmm. Alright, that took him out. A blood flower ring. A jagged metal ring painted red. Just increase attack, straight up. That's pretty cool. Take that, books. Hello? Oh, what? I'm in the cage of her dress? Oh, that's creepy. 
Thing of Arms Ear. Ear of a Thing of Arms. Salt built creation of the architect. On the greater continents, the power of salt was thought to be a fable, but the Thing of Arms is evidence enough that salt alchemancy is not just real, but horrible. And you're damn right. Where is he? There he is. Uh, we're fine. I don't think he can jump. Upt. Let's just full heal for- Wow. Okay, let's- let's be very careful now. Okay. It goes down easily enough, but geez. What the hell were you? Where are you? Mother Merle. Did I seriously never look up Mimku, which is Mimic? A ravenous tentacled kraken. The Mimku are experts of camouflage, capable of convincingly disguising themselves as a variety of inanimate objects. Unfortunately, the Mimku on this island learned fairly quickly that mimicking an enticing chest is the surest way to get fed. Mother Merle. Although never having children of their own, Mother Merles have many characteristics of overprotective mothers. Like the dress, which is literally a cage. She considers any creature unfortunate enough to fit in her cage her child and desires to keep them close to her forever, whatever state of living or dead that may be. Oof. I'm assuming I jump this. Okay. Really? That did not help me. Oh god. Nope. Okay. I can full charge them at least. No. Okay. Frozen Reliquary? I've never even seen one of those, I don't think. Boy, I, I got lucky with that one. That was scary. A reliquary that once contained the bones of a hero. A highly ranked cleric would carry it into battle. Whew. That, oh man, this, this was a kill room right here. I lucked out. Okay, we're back here. Good. I really don't want to fall off that stuff. I'll, I'll actually wait for the floor to regenerate in case I screw this jump up. Although it looks like it's kind of there. Am I missing something? No, there we go. Okay, it's just the scaffolding. Uh, diamond cluster? Excuse me? A tiny dish containing a small cluster of diamond row. Like fish eggs? Yeah, the eggs are those of a lesser kraken, unborn and fragile. Diamond row is a highly coveted delicacy on the continents, but it's possibly more valuable as a potent alchemical ingredient. Okay. Oh, ew, another one of those spiders. Yeah, no thanks. Okay. Moving down. There we go. Oh, thank God. All right. It's leveling time. Oh, man. So stressful. And it drives me freaking crazy that after all that, that's two levels. But I could probably squeeze in one more level. Well, this won't do anything. Let's just get rid of it. A bag? Yeah, one more will do it for sure. Thank you, Saltless. More orbs. <clears throat> Tree of skill. 
Where are those maces? Yeah, now all of a sudden. Oh, I can do class 4 defender? That is actually tempting. That would lose the mace thing. But then again, the shield I have is great. Let's do the mace thing. Kuara had been at work in the mines much longer than Oxfal, and she saw the fire in his heart immediately. Spirits were quickly crushed here, but his burned unnaturally bright. The Oracian, page 32. More strength. The ground was strewn with burning bodies, and the air was thick with smoke. Some figures still stood, shrieking, dancing, desperately trying in vain to fight off the flames. I wasted no time, grabbing a rusty cleaver from the table and hacking away at anything that still stood. The Foley Knoll Horror, S49. Damn. This is, you know, willpower, that's not bad. Mina and Doraman returned to the path to find the group in disarray. Men, women, and children were running north, faces masks of fear, with some worried-looking paladins and clerics among them, while other paladins and clerics hurriedly headed toward a crowd that was forming to the south. In the crowd were banners to the new gods. Mina and Doraman ran toward the banners. The Pensin Pilgrimage, S37. These stories are really, <laughs> they're quite interesting. Then there's this. I can save up to spend three to spend one, or I could spend one to get over here. What is my strength, actually? 39. Because I read up, and apparently this game has a soft cap of 50, which means that it's you get very much diminishing returns past 50 for strength. I would still like to pump what I can. Anyway, let's go out. I would like to see if I could level up my Jaws of Death, but I still need uh, locks of hair, which are so easy to get, but I just need to get them. Welcome to the Pitch Woods, and this is Sprites. A friendly spirit of sky that follows his caster, periodically casting... No, that's Lightning Pod. There it is. Summon divine spirits to orbit the caster, then seek out foes to deal holy damage to. Sprites are as playful as they are vengeful, evidence of the joy that exists between the most somber aspects of worship. Okay, bye. And here's a ladder I never went for. You know what, let's use the Shroud Ring for this, for the anti-holy stuff. And in case I need it... You know, that was it. That distance is just terrible because I don't have low equipment, like, burden. But, welcome to The Coveted. What am I- oh! Oh, that's cool. Oh, whoa. Oh, I oh I hit the solid part. Is this the four kings fight? Oh whoops, I thought it was healing, but I forgot to select the actual hardy roll first. I keep forgetting when it picks up the axe. That's Shockwave City. This is a clever fight though, I gotta say. If I could stop getting hit by a holy every three seconds, that'd be nice. Ah, right, see, there it is. Yeah, how do you like that? Let's see him get me now. I was sort of hoping he wouldn't immediately draw the damn axe, but here we are. Ah, nuts. Oh, this is good. Maybe both throw this crap at me, it's very frustrating. Now he draws the axe, that's great. Huh? 
to stay on the wrong side of him and then I'm invincible. The problem is if they both aim at me, then I'm just in huge trouble. Uh, that's enough. I want this ghost to aim the wrong way. That's the most important thing. Huh, see? As long as I can stay on the wrong side of the ghosts, then I am untouchable. The problem is if, if both of them are oh, okay. If both of them are looking at me from opposite sides, like if they've surrounded me, then I am in such trouble. So this is the chance to be a very easy or very hard fight. It's fine. It's fine. Boom. That's a lot of gold. That's a lot of gold. The ruins. Whew. The coveted's ashes. Ashes of the Coveted, a crude executioner's axe capable of inspiring unearthly desires. It is said to make slaves of the souls it claims, most famously wielded by Erland, the executioner king, who died together with his son during a struggle over the axe. Perhaps that's who these ghosts were then. The Coveting and the Coveted. The Coveting is the ghost, an ethereal spirit. It may be the spirit of Executioner Erlang or that of his son, Kuchet, but it doesn't really matter. Both are spectral slaves with no identity, imprisoned forever by an otherworldly desire to possess the Executioner's axe known as the Coveted. Which, by the way, a strangely sharp stone Executioner's axe. As the legend tells it, a royal executioner received it as a mysterious gift and immediately took a liking to it. Power in the kingdom shifted, and before long the Executioner had used his axe on the entire royal family. Power shifted further. Let's keep moving. Is that a collapsing floor? Nope. Uh, a drown sensor. I've gotten one of those. Ho oh ho! You like that? That's alright. Aha! What a secret. And is that an NPC? Flame Star and Sorcerer's part of a Sorcerer set, I guess? Vest of a Sorcerer of the Black Sands Collective. The Black Sands Collective is not on the best of terms of the Citadel Fire and Sky, but it's not on the worst of terms either. What a description. The Black Sands Collective was founded by Mina the Traveler, who left the Citadel centuries ago to travel to the Southern Continent. Her original intent was to create a second Citadel Fire and Sky, but over time, the outpost she founded in Southern Kulkas simply took on a form of its own. And then the spell. Summon a Star of Flash Fire. The five-pointed shape is a phenomenon that occurs naturally within the ethereal fabric of fire and sky. Mages and scholars speculate that the entire weave may be composed of a geometric grid of five and six-pointed stars. And now, remember the Despondent Thief, which we finished, and the Questing Knight, which we didn't? Well, here is the third NPC. We found it. The Ruined Temple. It was built in the north as a testament to the power of man, but it became corrupted by greed and something more. The mountain smith may have cast out gods, but even a godless land isn't safe from demons. I was led to this alcove by a number of tiny markings, each one bearing an instruction in a dead Tristini tongue. Here I found a set of garments identical to mine. Could it be that I have a shadow, leaving me messages wearing my clothes? Ever since you slay the king, I've wanted nothing more than to explore. But now that I think I understand what power is here, I'm filled with dread. Yeah, I guess it's the guy who gave me the brand, but we're still he's still a quest. I'm going to retrace my steps. Perhaps I'll discover an answer. Okay. Got it. Goodbye. 
Too bad I took a hit for that, but it's all right. Yeah, no thanks. Oh yeah, I can put on my lighter shield so I can roll a little better. I mean, look at the difference. That's a huge difference. I'm only 60 out of 83. That heavy shield put me closer to, like, the high 70s. It's quite a difference. Oh, speaking of the questing knight... I met a simple woman from Kokos here. She wanted to know what the point of it all was. How could she not know? It's the simple truth. We must quest. We must explore, we must discover, we must succeed, we must survive. She was devoured by beasts. Did you know that I've been questing since my 13th year? Slaying brigands and scoundrels, exploring uncharted caves, never does my heart feel at peace quite so much as when I'm on an adventure. I think I'll venture into the woods next. It's pitch dark and full of strange creatures and grisly corpses, but my friend, you should do well to know that I thrive in the face of danger. Sometimes the best thing to do is simply to listen. Okay, got it. There is a way to do this right. Oh, nope, that'll do it. I love that that's a thing I can do now. Anyway, we have a charred reliquary. Three of them, actually. I don't think I've gotten those before, but I bet you it's the same description as the frozen reliquary. Bones of a hero, bones of a hero. It's the same thing. Okay. Siam Lake. Look at this. This place is kind of beautiful in its own way, but I'm... Oh, look at that scroll with the trees in the background. I'm kind of thinking of uh, Ash Lake from Dark Souls 1. Well, look how far we've come. I've been on this island for a long, long time. The air, the salt of the sea, it all hangs on me like an ancient crust. And the shipwrecked, like you. So many shipwrecked sailors. So much fleshy flotsam. Fleshy flotsam with a shared secret. You are all the betrayed, you are. I have seen slaves and whores masquerading as nobles. I have seen soldiers and sailors wrecked right from the same ship with different ideas as to what their mission was. You sad, sad wanderers. Do you know by whom you were betrayed? And why? You had your princess to find. Or did you? Oh... We'll meet again soon. Yeah, this is the very first guy in the game when I just landed. That's interesting. Oh, I'll take it. It's leveling time. Oh, I can actually do twice. Again. All right, what can I pump? Dare I go in the mace direction? Because I think I can now, actually. Oh no, that's right, I just did. <laughs> oh, but I can do a class three. Why not? Three strength? Yeah, I'll do it. They were not but pure focus. Blistered hands and aching muscles became light as feathers and smoke as Oxfall, oh, became light as feathers and smoke. As Oxfall centered his mind on the three hearts, the tornado, the arox, and the flame. The Arasian, page 65. Yeah, strength 38, more like strength 41. That's going to be a considerable difference, and then there's more strength to come. Plus endurance, or plus still more strength. All the way up to class 5 heavy mace fighter. Pretty nice. Or Paltus, why not? Not that I really had a need for 7 of those things. Like, if I'm banged up enough to the point where I need to use 7 of these then my max health is already down to, like, half, and it doesn't seem to matter much. 
But in any case, we have made it to the sanctuary. This is fortunate. For now, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We entered the ruined temple and very quickly took out its boss, the Coveted. Which was interesting because the boss itself was the axe, rather than the spirits actively trying to possess it. It is pretty interesting that it doesn't matter who threw the axe last, each spirit seems to want to possess it because they're endlessly fighting each other to get it, and fighting me to keep away from it so they can continue to fight each other. Well, I guess that fight's settled now. And now we're in Siam Lake, and, well, the next thing we're going to do is probably make some people pretty mad. Until next time, everyone.